Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. 2nd April 2023 is a very special day in the history of Indian Space Program as Indian Space Agency ISRO has successfully conducted the reusable launch vehicle that is RLV Autonomous Landing Mission known as LEX Mission. I really wanted to make a detailed video about the test but unfortunately had my MTEC examination on the same day. However, after completing my exams, I could not stop myself from talking about the amazing feast achieved by ISRO. So with this note, let's start our today's video and try to understand what was tested today and how it will shape up the future of Indian Space Program. On 2nd April 2023, around 7-10 am in the early morning, the Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter gets airborne from aeronautical test range ATR Chitar Durga, Karnataka. Under its slung, the Chinook was carrying ISRO's RLV. The exact mission profile and the motion trajectory of today's test you can see in front of your screen. The RLV was supposed to be airlifted with the help of helicopter, taken to a certain height and then released. Post-release, the RLV is supposed to glide and navigate towards the runway, carrying out the autonomous landing. And this is exactly what has also happened in today's test. With the help of Chinook, the RLV was taken at an altitude of 4.5 km above the mean sea level. Once the predetermined pillbox parameters were attained, based on the RLV's Mission Management Computer Command, the RLV was released in mid-air at down range of 4.6 km. The RLV was released based on its release conditions, which included 10 parameters covering position, velocity, altitude, and body rates. The release of RLV was autonomous. RLV then performed approaching and landing maneuvers using integrated navigation, guidance and control system and completed an autonomous landing on the ATR airstrip at 7.40 am IST. With this, ISRO successfully completed the autonomous landing of a space vehicle. The autonomous landing was carried out under exact condition of a space re-entry vehicle's landing which includes high speed, unmanned, precise landing from the same return path as if the vehicle has arrived from the space. The landing parameters such as ground relative velocity, the sink rate of landing gears and precise body rates as might be experienced by an orbital re-entry space vehicle in its return path were achieved. The RLV LEX test is not only a significant achievement towards aerospace development, but many other state-of-art technologies including accurate navigation hardware and software, pseudolite system, car band radar altimeter, navic receiver, indigenous landing gear, aerofoil honeycomb fins, and brake parachute system were also tested. Extensive wind tunnel tests and CFT simulations enabled aerodynamic characterization of RLB were conducted prior to the flight test. This is also first test of its kind in the world where a winged body was carried to an altitude of 4.5 km by a an helicopter and released for carrying out an autonomous landing on a runway. RLB is essentially a space plane with low lift to drag ratio which is required at high glide angles that necessitated a landing at high velocity of 350 km per hour. LEX utilizes several indigenous systems, localized navigation system based on pseudolite system, instrumentation and sensor systems, etc., which were developed by ISRO. Digital elevation model of the landing site with a car band radar altimeter provided the accurate altitude information. ISRO has earlier also demonstrated the re-entry of its winged vehicle RLV TD in HEX mission in May 2016. The re-entry of a hypersonic suborbital vehicle marked a major accomplishment in developing the RLV. In HEX, the vehicle landed on a hypothetical runway over the Bay of Bengal. Precise landing on the runway was an aspect not included in the HEX mission which was done today. The LEX mission achieved the final approach phase that coincide with the re-entry return flight exhibiting an autonomous high-speed nearly 350 km per hour landing. 
the lex began with an integrated navigation test in 2019 followed by multiple engineering model trials and captive phase test in subsequent years extensive wind tunnel test and cfd simulation enabled the aerodynamic characterization of rlv prior to its flight adaptation of contemporary technologies developed for rlv lex turns the other operational launch vehicles of isro more cost effective along with isro indian air force similac ade and arde of drdo has contributed to this test with lex the dream of indian reusable launch vehicle arrives one step closer to the reality this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector